okay, everybody, the fun doesn't... Can I go in here, Yeah, John? go right in. Thank you. The fun doesn't stop there. So we saw the Batmobile, we saw the Jetsons car and Bugs Bunny, and now we've got the Monsters. Coffin car. I'm going to call it the coffin car, John. You got it. <laughs> wow. And you built this as well? No, this was built by George Barris in 1964. Okay. And it was on the TV show, um, The Monsters. It's the actual car that was used on the Munsters TV show. It was driven by Al Lewis, and in Munsters Go Home, it was driven by Fred Gwynn. Um, wow. This car ended up in the Chicago uh, Historical Museum. When the Chicago Historical Museum closed down, it was sold to Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood displayed the car in Atlantic City, New Jersey, above the bar, and they had it hanging up from chains. <laughs> And when I can so imagine that. I can really close yeah, my eyes yeah, if, and imagine because that's you, what Planet Hollywood would do. Yeah, that's, that's their thing. <laughs> uh, when Planet Hollywood uh, closed after a certain time, the car was then auctioned off. Planet Hollywood had an auction. And I signed up for the auction. I won the bid. Nice. And the car didn't look like this when I got it. Okay, so what did it look like? It was pretty much uh, a lot of parts missing. Uh, the motor wasn't in it. Or the transmission was not in the car. All the chrome was pitted, uh, mm -hmm. all the brass was uh, tarnished. Um, so I pretty much did a full rebuild on it. Wow. Uh, and I got the car ready and drivable to drive into the 70th uh, Detroit this. Auto Rama. And so that was the first time it was out? Yeah, first time it was out Last running. Week. Yep. Oh, nice. Yep. And you can see the Lovely. inside was all detailed. Back and to the way wh it what was. have you got there? Those are two carburetors. Yep. Um, they're two Holly carburetors on a Mickey Thompson manifold, and that's all original um, to the way the car was built. And what engine is that? It's a 289 Ford Cobra motor. Okay. Yes. Okay. I mean, you would wonder because, I mean, we are looking at a coffin here. Yeah. It's not exactly a car. Right. <laughs> no, I love this. Yeah. So that's how it opens up, similar to the Jetson yes. car we've got. The glass. Okay, John, what are we looking at? Uh, so you're looking at, this is the gauge cluster. Uh, you turn that button in, you press that button, that starts the car. Um, and it's a three-speed. It's a manual shift, so it has a clutch here. Um, you can shift it from here. And right there is the handbrake, that's how you stop. Nice. Yeah, the gas pedal is right there. It's an Elko gas pedal. And the whole car was built back in the day with all vintage speed parts and the same exact parts that it was built with are all back on the car. And I love the details with the coffin interior, yeah. the velvet, yes. and century correct patterns for the yep. coffins that they used to have. Yep. Um, yeah, it's just, I love it. Thank you. Wow, it does move. I actually yeah, they're real it handles, out. yeah. <laughs> Those are real handles. They're turn of the century. It is a real handle. You know, I really expected it to be um, welded yeah. in, yeah. but... <laughs> wow, <coughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Now, we have buckles here. Does that mean that if you take them off, you are able to expose yes. the... And get access to the engine bay? Yes, right okay. from there. Okay, and what is this little guy here? So that's the gas tank. Okay. Yeah, it's a two-gallon uh, two gas tank. Um, the tombstone on it is real granite. Wow. Yeah, it was done by a craftsman who, uh, you know, shaped it, reshaped it out for us and everything. And we've got Ford here because it's got the Ford engine. Yes. What about the chassis? Uh, the chassis is a dragster chassis from the 1960s. Um, pretty much made, you know, made to suit. Yep. And we have Tom Daniel's signature. Tom Daniel originally designed the Dragula for George Barris, and he also designed the Munster coach for George Barris as well. Okay. And that's the original one there too? That is the number three Barris coach. Okay, let's have a quick look. Yeah. I do love the back wheels on yeah. the coffin. Yep. Just wanted to mention that, everybody. Now, the Munster's coach. I'm yeah. loving this because I love the carriages. Yeah. I love the early Model A's, um, and this, of course, has been done just brilliantly. Yeah. So this is a 1927 Model T that's been stretched. Okay. Uh, this way you can fit the whole family of the Munsters. And that's why we've got three rows. 
It's built with all vintage speed parts, as you can see. Uh, it has, this as well has a 289 Ford Cobra motor, and it has 10 working carburetors. 10 working carburetors? Yeah, yes. Now, why do we need 10 carburetors? <laughs> I'm I always guess, learning, so please enlighten me. <laughs> I guess the faster you want to go, the more carburetors you need. Of course, but that, how much fuel are we using yeah, with that many carburetors? A you lot. Know, back then, the fuel was really cheap, so I guess it's how it is now. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough, because all I'm thinking is, God, with the petrol prices these days, yep. <laughs> 10 carburetors, but you know what? Nobody would be speeding this No, now. not at all, not at all. <laughs> but this was built to be a race car, believe it or not, and... Uh, this was lost in a race. Herman lost his car in a race, and Grandpa built the coffin to win the, the Munster coach back. Oh, nice. That's the story. I love it. I'm learning so much. Of course, there's... And the everything is all handmade. Headlights, moldings, um, everything you see. Wow. And what about these headlights? We've got just the lights? Uh, yeah, they light up. They're... Okay. Uh, they're like uh, chandelier no lights. No old school gasoline lanterns. No, no, nothing like that. Fair enough. Yeah. Wow, absolutely love the vintage details here. We've got Tom Daniel's signature again. Free Gwen Hermes. Hermes? Yep, that's Herman. <laughs> he was the driver. He was the driver, yep, okay. Yeah, he was dad in the, in, uh, in the monsters. Okay, well, no, I don't. Yep. I don't, so that's why I'm learning. Yep. And, um, and then it's Al Lewis. Al Lewis was uh, grandpa. Okay. And I've then, always heard about it, but I have not yep. seen it. Pat Priest was Marilyn. She was the cousin. Oh, wow. Wow, this is brilliant. Yeah. You know, it's the Model T, but it has been stretched, <coughs> so it gives it such an awesome look to it. Look at it. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank, Thank you. you so much, John. Thank you. I appreciate this. Thank, Thank you. you.